coming up. Now watch what I do. You know, Spike, I'm getting a little tired of you always running away from Heathcliff. He's just a puny old cat, and you're a big dog. You should be ashamed of yourself. Look, Spike, here comes Heathcliff now. <laughs> this is your chance to show me you're a real dog and not a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Spike. Stop it. You're scaring me. Come on, Spike. Get him. I told you to stop it, Spike. When will you learn to pay attention? Where are you going, Spike? The fun's just starting. I'm ashamed of you. No, I'm more than ashamed. I'm mortified. How could you let that cat lick you again? It's embarrassing to call myself your owner. I don't want to look at you again until you can beat that cat at something. Muggsy's right. I'm a dog, and Heathcliff's just a crummy cat. I gotta get myself in shape. That's what. <laughs> Now, I don't think I should have turned left at the bakery. Come on, Heathcliff, get lost. I'm too busy to be fooling around with you. Ooh. Gee, that policeman wasn't very friendly. He told me to get lost. Why? I already am lost. Gee, I can't see much better from up here. Maybe if I hop up there, I can get a better idea of where I am. I'm afraid I'm really lost this time. Heathcliff! Uh-huh. Watch out, Heathcliff. Here I come, because I'm a lead. Cat pulverizing machine. <laughs> Slow down, Heathcliff, so I can barbalize you. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Dog, but you seem to have me confused with someone else. Don't try that phony voice with me, Heathcliff. You're finally gonna get what's coming to you. Do -do 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 -do. Ah, nothing like a little catnap on a warm afternoon. You're in there, and I'm coming after you. Hey, uh, can't a cat get a little shut eye around here? Shut eye? I'll shut your eyes for good this time. Hey, Spike, you been working out or something? Look at them muscles. Hey, that ain't gonna help you any. I'm still gonna mortalize you. <laughs> Oh, my. Excuse me, miss. Could you tell me how to get to Elm Street? Oh, Heathcliff, you're always joking around. Did you think that silly voice would fool me? But, but, but my name is Henry, and I'm lost. Won't anyone help me? Heathcliff, you're such a card. <laughs> Abilene. 
Cat pulverizing machine. I'm a lean, mean cat pulverizing machine. Bring on heat clap. I'll vitalize him. I'm a lean, mean cat pulverizing machine. <laughs> Looks like you're a lean, <laughs> mean <laughs> fallen machine. <laughs> Come on. I can take you. I can take you. This is starting to get on my nerves. Hi, hey, Clap. We're going over to that new fish market across town. You want to join us? Hmm. Well, I am rather hungry. Uh, okay. I'll be happy to join you fellas. Uh, what's wrong with Heathcliff's boys? My, it was very nice of you fellas to invite me along for a meal, but I must be on my way home now. Uh, do any of you know the way to Elm Street? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to laugh. If you don't know the way, just say so. Oh, hi, Heathcliff. Still trying to find Elm Street? <laughs> a big boy like you should be able to find his way home. <laughs> Hey, uh, Spike, uh, what you looking for? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, what's with this guy? <laughs> Boo! Uh, what's going on here? You look just like me. Hey, hey wait a minute. Now I get the picture. Everybody thinks you're me. Hmm, that explains everything. Hey, pal, maybe you and I can do some business together, huh? Hey, Spike, I'll bet even with all your training and working out, you still can't beat me in a race. You kidding? I'll mortalize you. I'll mortalize you. Well, uh, just to make it interesting, Spike, old pal, let's race for, uh, for something. What did you have in mind? If I win, you wait on me hand and foot for a week. And if you win, uh, which you won't, I'll let you beat me up in front of Muggsy. Okay, Heathcliff, you're on. Oh, oh, okay, Henry, here's the plan. You run on up ahead and... And when we win the race, I'll make sure that you get back to your home. Boy, there goes one heck of a good-looking cat. Hey, come on, Heathcliff. It's time to start the race. <laughs> See you at the finish line, sucker. Easiest race I've ever had. Hiya, Spike. Hiya, Heathcliff. Hiya, Heathcliff. Huh? <laughs> I got him now. I wouldn't be so sure, Dog Breath. Shut up and keep pushing, Spikey. Hiya, Heathcliff. Hiya, Spike. Hi there, Henry. Hello, Heathcliff. Heathcliff! I may not be no five beta poocher, but something's real fishy around here. Does this mean you ain't gonna push me around no more today, Spikey? Push ya? I'll pulverize ya! Oh, well, nothing lasts forever. <laughs> Heathcliff, you're one cat in a million. <laughs> Don't go away. I may need your help. Back to Heathcliff and me, Riff Rap. Boss, 
What's happening? Hi, guys. Listen, Rip Rap. Ever since Cleo left on vacation, you haven't been yourself. Oh, yeah? Whoops. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? It just means that we thought a change of scenery might cheer you up. Yeah, we were just thinking about you. That's why we decided you need a few days in the country. I don't. Beautiful sunrises, clean, fresh air. Oh, why not? There's nothing to do around here anyway. This is gonna be loads of fun. You guys were right. The fresh air is nice, and all this exercise is terrific. <laughs> Did you hear something? Yeah, and it sounded plenty big to me. Relax. It was probably some frog with indigestion. I think you ought to... Put in one more support. I just don't know what I'd do without you. It sure is lucky we can't close the water. Hey! Well, what's going on? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Just don't panic. Everything will be cool. Like Bobby! Oh. <laughs> well, let's get out of here. I've got a better idea. Is it deep enough yet? Hey, man, cut us loose. This thing's deep enough to catch a moose. Ah, that's it. Now we better hide somewhere. Uh, how about back at the junkyard? All you guys gotta do is get in this tree, and I'll take care of the rest. Boy, talk about fearless. Yo, Fatso, get over here. Hey, what's the matter, Lardo? You too stupid to find me? Hey, you overgrown sack of fur! Why don't you come out and fight? <laughs> I guess the sack of fur line got him. Come on, Chubby. What are you waiting for? Uh-oh. got the whole thing figured scientific-like. You see, the coefficient factor of the monster's weight divided by the gravity ratio of the three you used pulling gives a quantum rate of 0. 0.000. Uh, that makes sense. If he thinks that makes sense, we're doomed. Look, it's real simple. When the monster steps into the loop, you guys pull on the rope, and the monster ends up upside down in the tree. And bingo, we got him just where we want him. You make it sound cool, but I feel like a fool. Perfect. Here he comes. Now, when I give you the signal, yank that rope with all your might. Got it? <laughs> got it. <laughs> Well, you blew it again. I don't know why I even let you guys help. Well, we're just lucky, I guess. I ain't gonna do it. 
I'm telling you, you're as safe as if you was in your mother's arms. My mommy never dressed me like a tuna. <laughs> <laughs> Will you just calm down and look up? When the monster comes for you, we drop the net on him and then fame is ours. Call me a jerk, but I think it might work. Duh, you're a jerk. What makes you so sure that the monster's gonna come? Babe, I've left him a little invitation. Call it a hunch, but that looks like our luck. No time to think about food, guys. Get to the net. <laughs> what do I do? Try and look tempting. Hiya, sailor. Now! Looks like I'm gonna have to handle this big clown myself. What do you think he's gonna do with us? I f f think he's in the m m m mood for c c c c cat food. I think it's time to teach this bozo a lesson. clobbering that oversized bath mat. I wish he was here right now so I could really give it to him. I just keep thinking how great it would have been if we caught that thing. We really would have had the life. World tours, plenty of television shows, and... Uh-oh. Did I hear someone mention television? You know, my friends have always said I should... I should be in show business. How about a little sample? <laughs> It's like I always say, the bigger they are, the happier they are. <laughs> Just wait till you see what I do next. <laughs> this is the part I've been waiting for. Hi, kids. Professor Heathcliff here in front of the medicine cabinet to give you some tips on making your home safe for your cats. Securely lock all medicine cabinets and the household cleaner storage closets. You know, us cats are very resourceful in getting into these areas. Look around the house. If you see something that might hurt your cat, 
put it away. Take it from me, Professor Heathcliff. <laughs> <laughs>